In these videos, I aim to simplify theory and solve multiple varied questions, keeping the videos as short as possible. Using these methods, I've helped students ace exams and reach top schools and universities. If that sounds something you'd be interested in, please take a moment to subscribe. So we want to work out the interquartile range. So let's very briefly recap what we've done in the past couple of videos. So quartiles are when we have a data set and we split it into four sections. So the median is in the middle of the data set and we call that Q2. And if we split the first half in half again, we get Q1. And if we split the second half in half again, we get Q3. So don't forget that all the values in your data set have to be in numerical order. So for this data set, the median or the number in the middle is equal to 11. The mean or the average is all the numbers added together divided by the number of them which is 70 divided by 7, which is equal to 10. The mode is the number that occurs most frequently, which in this case is 13, because there's two 13s. And the range is the maximum number minus the minimum number, which for this data set is 15 minus 4, which is equal to 11. And finally, we want to work out the interquartile range, and that is Q3 minus Q1. So let's delve into that a bit more deeply. Now you can obviously have an odd number of values in your data set or an even number. So first we're going to deal with an odd number of values. So for this first data set, we have an odd number of values and we want to find Q1, Q2 and Q3. So we start by finding Q2 or the median by crossing off the values at each end until we get to the middle, which in this case is 82. Now we found the middle, we have to find Q1 from these three values. And as there are only three values, it's fairly simple. We can see that the value in the middle is 77. So Q1 is equal to 77. And similarly, there are only three values in the second half of the data set. So we can clearly see that in the middle is 92. So Q3 is equal to 92. So now we can work out our interquartile range, which is Q3 take away Q1. We have 92 minus 77, which is equal to 15. Now that was with a data set that had seven values. So let's try another data set. This time it has nine values. So with this case, we have a different scenario. Again, if we cross off all the numbers from either end, we do get to the number in the middle, which is 64. So again, we found Q2 or our medium fairly easily. But this time we have four values before Q2 and four values after Q2. This means Q1 lies between 53 and 57, and Q3 lies between 76 and 78. Now, quite often, it might be very obvious which number is Q1 and Q3, but if you are in any doubt, just add the two numbers together and divide by two. So for Q1, we have 53 plus 57 divided by two, which is 55, and for Q3, we have 76 plus 78 divided by 2, which is 77. And this means the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, 77 minus 55, which is 22. But now what happens if we have an even number of values in our data set? Well, if we start with this data set for our first scenario and we cross off the numbers from either end, we get to the middle and find that Q2, or the median, is going to lie between... 53 and 55. So Q2 or the median is equal to 54. Now in this scenario Q1 is the middle of these five numbers which we can see fairly clearly is 52 and Q3 is the middle of these five numbers which we can see relatively easily is 58. So for this data set our interquartile range Q3 minus Q1 is equal to 58 minus 52 which is equal to six. So that data set had 10 numbers, but what happens if we have say 12 numbers? Well, in this scenario, for instance, with this data set, if we cross off the numbers from either end, we get to the middle here, which is in between 32 and 33. So our median or Q2 is equal to 32.5 or 32 plus 33 divided by two. However, this time Q1 is in the middle of six numbers, so it's in between 21 and 25. So this time, like the median, Q1 is also going to be the number in between these two numbers, or the average of them, 
So 21 plus 25 divided by 2. So Q1 is equal to 23. And likewise, Q3 is going to be in the middle between 40 and 42. So Q3 is equal to 41. So now working out the interquartile range is easy. Q3 minus Q1, which is 41 minus 23, which is equal to 18. So thanks for watching. I hope that's made everything very clear and concise. If you've gained any value from this video, then please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next one.